It has been an incredible 47 years as a dealer. It has been an exhilarating year as your NAD chair. And what a job by Jeff Pohanka. And it's going to be a remarkable year as your 2024 NAD chair. Today, I want to talk to you about passion and intent, but not mine, yours. I want to talk about how your passion and how your intent, which has served you so well in your careers, needs to be harnessed and channeled as never before on behalf of this entire industry. Every year is critical. Every decade is significant. And every pivotal moment this industry faces is monumental. And boy, this year is no different. Let's look at what we're facing today. First, never before in our nation's history has the government committed so much time, energy, and resources towards a single goal of changing the way that the millions of new vehicles that Americans buy every year are fueled. That is just a fact. Second, not in decades has a federal regulatory agent so upended the auto retail marketplace with unresearched, untested, and frankly, uneducated mandates and restrictions on the shopping and sales process. And yes, I am talking about the Federal Trade Commission. The FTC's vehicle shopping rule is going to burden consumers with hours of time, forums, frustration, ultimately mistrust, during the shopping experience, and certainly during every sale. There are other issues, many others, but these two are NADA's highest policy priorities for 2024. But I also take a parallel view of what's most important to dealers. Because here's the truth. These two issues will be resolved one way or another. Not tomorrow or not today, but soon enough. And what will happen then? Well, other issues will take their place. There will always be an ebb and a flow to the things that set off the fire alarms. But how we wrestle with today's tough issues will have a lasting effect for generations of dealers. And that's where passion and intent, your passion and intent come into play. Here's what I need from you, from every dealer, from every manager, and every dealership employee in this room and back home. I need you to be passionate about the defense of the entire franchise system as you are about your own franchises. And I need you to be intentional every single day about doing the things to unite us behind our immediate priorities and about the ultimate priorities, protecting the franchise system and the customers we serve. Speaking of unity, my friends, I'm afraid to say that when it comes to one of our biggest challenges, the too far, too fast transition to EVs, it seems like we don't have it. Let me explain. I hear from dealers every day that NAD needs to do more on EPA. That's a tough critique. Why? Because I've been watching our efforts for the last year, and the team is working tirelessly to curb the implementation of the flawed and unachievable standards. So let me try and break this down. The EPA has the power to set EV regulations. The Supreme Court decided that 15 years ago. And the Biden administration controls the EPA. So since last summer, Along with the manufacturers, NAD staff and dealers have been having more than 15, meters, 15 meet, meetings with senior officials and the White House and EPA, and literally hundreds of meetings with key members of Congress. The first thing we need to do is try to get the President to bend his policy in a more realistic direction. That's the bottom line intent of every single one of those meetings. 
This is hard diplomacy. And you do not do hard diplomacy by being in the newspaper. You do it by being, by negotiating, and by being at the table. We're making progress, but I will admit, it is tough going. If that doesn't work, Congress will try to override the APA rule, either through cutting off funding or by rejecting the rule outright. Moving legislation is NADA's sweet spot, and a lot of folks think we should be working this lane. Here's the problem. All legislation has to be signed by the President, and a rapid transformation is a key issue for him. See the problem? The third way is to roll it back when the new administration comes to power. We know there's no broad base appetite for banning ICE cars, and some presidential candidates are already campaigning on this. Remember, the elections have consequences. And the fourth way would be to get the courts to strike it down once the regulations come out. My fellow dealers, this is heavy stuff, and we have a lot of powerful brains and influential people working on it. And we have plans laid out for each of those four scenarios. Now I'd like to take and talk about waking our passion. I get it. Heck, I'm in a Z state. I know firsthand the collision course we're on. As Jeff Poyanke rightfully called it out yesterday, it fires me up too. We don't need help with passion. Honestly, passion alone is probably counterproductive. What we really need help with is intent. I have to be intentional on what I say and what we do to bring about the changes we need. We need unity. Unity behind the reality that dealers have already bought $5 billion worth of EV inventory. And you better bet that we will sell every darn one of them. We need unity behind the reality that we're already invested hundreds of millions in chargers, training, and service equipment. And within a decade, that figure is going to eclipse another $5 million. And you better bet that dealers are going to fight for every single EV service opportunity there is. And more importantly, unity behind the message to regulators that dealers are part, going to do their part, but it's our customers who aren't signing up. So let's find a way forward on the environment that doesn't create our workforce or our customer's pocketbook by requiring them to buy expensive and that they are not yet ready for their lifestyle. Let's take a pause. Let's look at plug-in hybrids and other ways we can lower emissions responsibly to create the future we all want for our kids and our grandkids. My fellow dealers, let's try to do that together. And if you stick with me, I promise you, we will bring about the biggest change possible because the unity of mission works. We've already altered the trajectory of the FTC shopping rule by sticking together. Last month, NADA and the Texas Auto Dealers Association brought forth a legal challenge to the vehicle shopping rule. And we asked the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals to delay this flawed rule. And then, two weeks later, the FTC acknowledged that justice needed to be served and it stayed the implementation date of its own rule. Our efforts made a difference. And on this issue, passion was easy, let me tell you. But even more important was our intent. And I will tell you, it was not unanimous. That's the truth. There were dealers who were hesitant to challenge the FTC and take on this rule in court. But we talked, we listened, and we came together in your best interest. I know how dealers think. I know we'll always have your passion. But it's your intent that we desperately need. 
you have a chance, frankly, to determine the future of this industry like few before you. You really do have a chance to build a legacy for all of us. Now that's powerful. Because here's what my individual legacy will look like. That guy, Gelchrist, oh yeah, he was the NADA chairman 2020 something. And that's, I know, that's okay, that's just fine. But if only one dealer looks back and says, oh yeah, it was that critical EV year when I realized I better get involved, I better get engaged, and I better work towards getting us aligned. Well, that's a legacy that any of us can only dream of leaving behind. My fellow dealers, I guarantee you, I will never give up on any of you or any franchise dealer anywhere. Nor will any, NAD, any NADA chair. I'm counting on you to never give up on NADA. Well, I'd like to take a moment to thank the people that have been with me for over the years, my coworkers, my friends, and family members, to my very special ATA, Vicki Giles Faberet, my business partners, my son, Nick, my niece, Stephanie, and to my late brother, my partner for 44 years, to my wife of 47 years. Gwen, your unwavering support, boundless love, incredible wisdom, you are the pillar of our relationship. To the board of directors and the NAD staff, who every day roll up their sleeves to go to work on behalf of the franchise all their dealers. Thank you all. I look forward to the opportunity and the challenges we will face this coming year. Thank you.